Good morning, divorcing gracefully and beyond, sisters. And happy Good Friday. So for those of you, if you celebrate Easter um, or Passover, I know Passover is this week and we're Good Friday today and Easter is coming up this Sunday. So wishing everyone a very blessed, blessed Easter and Passover. And today's Friday morning. We're having a Friday coffee chat with Donna. Hi, Ray. So good to see you this morning. Yeah, this morning, as you can tell in New York, it is, let's see, 32 degrees. So we went from like 70, 80 degrees last week to 30 one degrees today. So thank gosh I didn't put away my winter jacket. Otherwise, I would have been in trouble. So that's why you see me bundled up in a, in a winter jacket because down at Port Jefferson Beach where I'm going, the wind is probably going to be kicking up a storm. So I've got to dress properly. And hey, bunny, good morning. We're having coffee chat with Donna, except today, instead of having a coffee chat, we're having a Shockley protein shake <laughs> chat because <laughs> that's what I'm having. I feel like this week has been such a wonderful week uh, on the divorcing gracefully and beside uh, side of things in my program. Um, some really wonderful and lovely women have joined the program. So our family is growing and it's just so nice to be in a community of people who are like minded, who are forward thinkers who are just refusing to let the soul fracture of the past define their life and they're willing to step in faith and patience and do whatever it takes to clear it and they're willing to be vulnerable and and step up and say you know what I've, I've tried I haven't been able to clear this part of my life and I'm ready to be guided and, and I'm ready for help and one thing that I want to talk about before we get into the content of to coffee chat today is that as women we do for everybody else, right? We we help our family, we help our coworkers, we'll, we'll do for our friends, but when it comes to us, we're the last one on the list. And so what I'm doing is a me first type of movement where we need to switch that list around, that you need to be the first one on the list. And being the first one on the list doesn't mean that other people are going to lose or miss something out, right? There's, you could be first and still love others. You could be first and still be authentically and beautifully and wonderfully you. This is the time where we step unapologetically into who we are and own it, right? This is, this. if you've never had an opportunity to do this, this is something I'm gonna give you the opportunity to do is step up in your own life and own it. You know, there was a conversation I had with a woman um, who, w who went through my Divorce and Gracefully and Beyond 12-week coaching program, I want to say about a year ago. And I would say, I don't know, let's say she was anywhere between 60s and 70s, somewhere in that range. And she said to me, Donna, you know, this is the first time in my entire life where I really feel like me because I've always been in an identity of someone else, someone's mom, someone's wife, someone's employee. And she goes, this is the first time I really was able just to take my life and be me and really feel like the woman that I am. And I want to just let that, rev um, what is it? I, I guess just sit with you, right? It's just the sitting into the woman who you are. And you may not even know who that woman is yet because maybe the soul fracture is defining who you are. Maybe your heart is not sure who you are. Maybe you're, you're not clear of where you're going and what you really want. And that's normal, right? We're, we're not being, knowing who we are and what we really want is, is sometimes could be a little difficult. And for me, I found out who I am and what I really want through doing and finding out what I really didn't want. I'm putting on my sunglasses. This is getting bright. So by, by sheer just experiencing things and bringing people into my life and through my marriage and through failed relationships in the past, I realized what I didn't want. So I wasn't one of those persons, those people who woke up and knew exactly what I wanted and what was my passion and what was my purpose. My life history started out, I was an accountant. That's how I started my career. And I naturally began to work with people and now this is, you know, obviously, this is the work that I do. And 
my purpose and my passion came from me trying things and realizing that that didn't work. So just know that the woman inside of you, if you're here in the Divorcing Gracefully and Beyond community and you're listening to this message today, that there's a part of your soul that is ready for the next level, that is ready to level up into the next level of life, that is ready to step up into a new version. And this is going to lead us into what I wanted to talk about for coffee chat for today, or like I said, Shockley Shake Day with Donna, is this idea of perception. So I'm going to give you a real life example. This morning, I was looking for my sneakers. Now, I only wear one particular pair of sneakers to the beach because they're comfortable, number one, but number two, they get sandy. So I don't want to you know, ruin a whole bunch of my other sneakers because they get sandy and they get yucky. So I usually take my sneakers off when I get home in the garage and I go through the garage and let Casey in and that's where I dry her off and feed her breakfast and all that kind of stuff. Long story short, I open the garage, I look, can't find my sneakers. About 15 minutes, I'm searching the house. I'm going upstairs, downstairs, looking all over, blaming my kids as I'm like, one of them definitely took my sneakers. I can't believe it, right? And I, I just said, wait a minute, they've got to be in the garage. I, I can't imagine that I would have wore sandy sneakers throughout the whole house. Sure enough, I open up the garage, I look down, and there they are. No one magically put them there. They were there the whole time. I just didn't see them. And this is what happens. I thought it was a perfect story about perception for our conversation today, because this is what happens to us. When you have a soul fracture, and you're focused on wanting something so badly, we have, we're, we're in what I would call the fight or flight brain, we're in that space where we're searching and wanting something so badly, we're not seeing what's right in front of us. And we're missing opportunities of the day. We're missing opportunities of the present moment. We're missing opportunities to be blessed and to be a blessing to others. We're missing the signs and the synchronicities where God, source, is leading us because we're so focused on what we don't have and searching for it. The key to getting what you want is not searching and doing. The key to getting what you want is deciding 100% number one what it is you want and then finding a community that could help you get it right coaching community and then sitting in your decision and doing whatever it takes to get you there and what I found and I'm surrounded by some really amazing people um, successful women in all shapes and forms and the most successful women in my program and in others are the ones that learn the master key. And this is the master key. The master key is you don't have to figure out the how, your job is to figure out the what. And then let God rearrange the universe to bring that to you. You see, the problem is, is that we begin to think that we could do it better and we begin to rearrange things and try to fix it and try to control it and try to manage it. And, and I, listen, I'm in that boat. I know it. I feel it. I get it. But the key, the master key is actually defining what it is you want with rock solid intention, rock solid clarity, right? Not just, for instance, I always like to use money because it's just a very good example. Not just, I want to, I want extra money this week. By the end of this week, I will be attracting at least $10,000 into my bank account easily and effortlessly. And so it is, right? We're not just saying we want something. We're saying exactly what we want when we want it. But now what we're going to do is we're not just going to sit home and hope that it comes in and expect that it comes in. We're going to take some action. And, you know, if you're working with a coach already, you'd be working with your coach. If you're, you know, if you're looking for employment, you'd be going out and you'd be searching for a job, right? You'd be sending out your resumes. You'd be talking to friends. You'd be going on Facebook and letting people know, hey, listen, um, you know, here's my skill set. Here's what I'm looking for. If anybody knows anybody, please let me know, right? You'd be doing the things that you would be normally doing because you're out of trying to figure out how that money is going to come to you. So the master key is deciding what it is you want and then allowing God in the universe to bring it to you. But it's understanding that perception is everything, right? So chaos and peace. I, I wrote this today to my, my group. Chaos and peace are both available to us. We just got to decide which party we want to attend. 
Do we want to attend the chaos party or do we want to attend the peace party? It really is a decision. People ask me all the time, Donna, how do, how do I get happy? I don't know how to become happy. And the simple answer, answer is you decide because your happiness isn't an outside job. It doesn't come from outside circumstances. You decide to be happy and then you do the things to cultivate that happiness. And that's why it becomes difficult to do it alone because the, well, I could say to you the decision to be happy but if you don't have the mindset and the accountability and the cultivation of your emotional side of the mindset, you may find yourself stuck. Hi, Diana. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Beth. Hi, April. I'm loving seeing everyone this morning. Good morning. Well, anyway, having wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Easter Passover. I am here getting ready. Um, I am going to pick up a cup of coffee because I realized that my shake just isn't just isn't enough this morning. I absolutely need a cup of java. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. Remember, perception is everything. You get to choose which party you're going to attend, the chaos or the peace. And the master key is not figuring out how things are going to come to you, but the master key rather is deciding what it is you want and allowing the universe to supernaturally coordinate all of those pieces that need to come to you. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.